Hey guys, I'm going to be reviewing a video called Changing Snack Habits That Make Her Feel Miserable. It's about a woman who's overweight and as far as I understand, a dietitian is gonna help her. What happens when the junk on your plate I'm so happy for her. becomes junk in your trunk? I feel euphoric after I eat. It's Probably for a few minutes at most and really you don't even know what euphoria feels like. Your idea of a date with your sweetie? A rendezvous with chocolate? I'll be up soon. Okay. Nutritionist Jillian McKeith is on a mission to help this woman get her groove back. I've got... Jillian McKeith uh, was in her 50s when this was filmed, as far as I know. And she really doesn't look good for her age whatsoever. Just eight weeks to finally get Victoria feeling fabulous foxy. But in this battle of the bulge... And just that. How did the bread get into this kitchen? Who will claim victory? I want some f***ing pizza. Oops, the enslaved American cursed. Food addiction can be as lethal as any drug. The more junk you have, the more junk you cr Yeah, but whatever you're doing yourself is also going to be lethal. You look like you're in your 70s at least. Victoria is so high on junk food that it's sapping her energy and dimming her desire. Fortly parent Victoria has a life crammed with commitments. Check this too, right? With a husband, two kids, school, and a full-time job, she's overscheduled and super stressed. Boy, what a mess. I have to be in the theater in 45 minutes. Her solution? She snacks herself calm. All this craziness totally stresses me out and I eat. And all that eating. Besides being overweight, she looks very unhealthy, pale, really bad skin. Uh, uh, yeah, just the picture of somebody unhealthy. Has severely damaged her mojo. I'm just fat. I'm disgusted with myself and I'm ashamed of myself. She uses food as a drug. It is like a junkie. And her husband Brent is her late night dealer. Uh, happy wife, happy life. I feel euphoric after I eat. Yeah, but she cannot be happy eating this way. It's impossible. What did you get me, babe? Chocolate chips and candies are Victoria's daily late night fix. In a bad mood, it's the easiest thing to do. You're a good boy. It's literally just nothing. It's just sugar with drugs. Boy. It's Victoria who wears the culinary trousers in this house. What sh More sugar. Again, nothing. She eats. Everyone eats. What are we having for dinner? Chicken and fries. And that... Is that chicken? What kind of chicken is that? Chicken with breading? <laughs> so basically just sugar with chicken. Again, probably cooked in vegetable oils. The children also look unhealthy. List of foods isn't very long at all. We have five meals that we just... Man, uh, wow, this is just... This is insane. You can't even eat more unhealthy than this. Rotate through during the week. You guys want grilled cheese? What Victoria says goes. Hubby Brent... At least there's cheese between the grain sludge. Brent doesn't get a say in the kitchen. I eat things that basically she likes. For the most part, I am afraid to stand up for her. Uh, if, if I do challenge, I know it's going to blow up into a fight. But life wasn't always this fat and frantic for Victoria. I wasn't like this when he met me. I was 60, 70 pounds thinner. And with that, more con. Yeah, I don't think that she was really bad looking back in the day. It's just that she's very unhealthy also now. She was obviously beautiful and uh, she's very dynamic. I still love her. I know she's not happy right now. I hope that he thinks that that person he fell in love with is still in there. I'd love to feel better about myself. And nutritionist Jillian McKeith is the woman to make that happen. She has just eight weeks to stop the snacking and help Victoria get her mojo back. What am I going to find in here? Oh, probably nothing you're going to like. <laughs> you're right. Look at Jillian herself. Even with all of the makeup, she's just way too saggy for her age. The collagen is gone. She's just too wrinkly, dried up. That's simply because... But she promotes is also garbage, just in a different way. We'll see about that soon, probably. Where's the food? You're into chocolate. Because there's a lot of it in here. Every morning for breakfast, I have a glass. Oh, the brown water. Yeah, because it has caffeine, just like the coffee that you would drink. Yeah, not as much, but they give this to children to get them addicted to caffeine. So that later on they just switch to coffee. But you know, every house I go to has brown water. Oh, that's my son's plate. Oh, we don't eat that. So basically, everything's frozen. Yeah. I think you little pizzas. There's no way Victoria can feel good stuffing her body with all this processed junk. Her big yeah, I don't have to say this is really as bad as it can get. Uh, it's really horrible.
biggest problem is addiction to chemicals and sugars in foods that are added. You go through five Yes, the chemicals are drugs, technically. She's addicted to drugs. She's malnourished, very malnourished. 572 grams a week of added sugar. That is a lot of added sugar. It's a yeah, it's added sugar, but then the grains that she's eating are also based on carbohydrates, which are sugar. So she's mainly eating sugar and vegetable oils. That's why she looks the way she looks. She's overweight and very unhealthy looking. I am not convinced that she really, really, really has this drive to want to change. And that is scram. It's okay. I use food the way other people use drugs. <laughs> you are actually technically using drugs. You use drugs the way other people use other drugs. It's different drugs, but it's still drugs. <laughs> Take a look, see what we're dealing with. At 248 pounds, Victoria is clinically obese. She also suffers from insomnia and stress. What's the worst part of I think it's this. Here, I've had here. two kids and I still look like I'm seven months pregnant. Now there's a line down the middle of the tongue here, which suggests weak digestion. So you're not assimilating your foods properly, you're not breaking your foods down. Eat dandelion, parsley, mint or ginger to aid digestion just because it's very acidic and toxic. What I notice is that she's 39 and even though she looks very unhealthy in the face, she doesn't really have uh, visible wrinkles because she has so much fat. You always see that in people, not always, but most often, who have a lot of fat. Properly. And what you're giving yourself to eat is just stressing your digestive system. You have really dark circles under your eyes. Mm, I think that Jillian has the worst dark eye circles. Does that from lack of sleep? Oh, yeah, yeah. How could you expect to sleep properly if you're snacking on sugar and chocolate at night? Hello? Mm -hmm. I had your saliva tested for stress hormones. It didn't surprise me, but it's come back with very low DHEA levels. When someone's got low DHEA, the fat's all out front. Classic case of poor adrenal function. It's a sign that... The way she grabs her stomach... Strange. Your body is not coping well with stress and you're stressing it more. You're looking at blood sugar issues and even there's a risk of osteoporosis down the road. Her bad diet has caused her low DHEA level. There's a risk of about any disease you can think of. And that in turn is what's messing up her mojo. I want you to look in the mirror and say, you know what? I am fantastic. I look great. That's the first step in the process of healing from this. Okay, the first step in the process of healing is saying that you look great even though you don't. That's very interesting. They always do this with women. If you ever watch any of these shows about guys, they never tell them to say, I look great, right? Take some guy who's, let's just say, severely obese. You never see anybody tell him, look in the mirror now and say that you look great. You look fantastic. They never do that with guys. They always beat them down. But with women... They try to make them accept themselves. I don't even understand how that's supposed to work. She's supposed to change, right? So you're supposed to say, I don't look good. I want to change. If she thinks that she looks great, why would she change? Super strange logic. I don't get it at all. You're going to make me cry in a minute, Victoria. <laughs> I am fantastic and I look great. Here you are. She has to cry because she know uh, she knows that she's lying to her. So I, I just don't get the point of this. Why would this help? Let's make this a new chapter in her life. I'm looking forward to it. But is his picky eating wife looking forward to it? Her new menu is full of fresh, whole, natural. This is worse than what she was eating before. Seriously. Foods and there's not a frozen meal in sight. You tend. Yes. Yeah, so. What does it matter? At least the frozen meals had some kind of cheese and super overcooked meat, whatever. But then you're giving her whole grains, which are even harder on her than the processed grains. And a bunch of toxic vegetables. And I see ginger right there, which is an antibiotic. You eat rubbishy, junky food when you're stressed or angry. And <laughs> you would think that she's giving the food to some kind of cow, rabbit or something. Look at how many green leaves there are. That stuff is not even digestible. It's super toxic for you. It's inedible. Humans hate the texture and the taste of it. Then there's a bunch of fruits. 
I can somewhat understand the uh, probably waxed and uh, pesticide ridden cultivated man made fruits anyway, still though the best that she has there. I, is she gonna starve her and make her eat green leaves and flowers now? I so you say you're an emotional eater. Yeah. I also eat to celebrate. Using rubbishy food as a drug has got to stop. You've been spending $200 a week on... Man, she still looks better than uh, Gillian. Like a million times better. Man, Gillian is one foot in her grave already. Well, I consider mainly rubbish. Mm -hmm. And $80 a week just on the junky stuff that you snack on at night. Now, what I've got here costs a lot less. The new food plan has a... Okay, and then it means that it's cheap slave food. Why would good food cost less? Good, healthy, nutritious food costs more. Grass-fed meat, wild-caught fish, healthy organs, uh, healthy eggs from good sources that all costs a lot. An average weekly cost of $200. She'll be saving a whopping... Okay, so she got a bunch of seeds and vegetables and pesticide-ridden fruits for $80 a week. Yeah, no wonder, because it's garbage. $80 a week. Wow, that's a lot of money. Some of it you don't even have to cook. Excellent, good. Oh, some of it you don't, really? Hmm. Pumpkin seeds, great snack. Pumpkin seeds. Ooh, pumpkin seeds are really bad for you. They are poisonous. Pumpkin seed oil is actually deadly. Of course, you're getting small amounts of these oils when you're eating the seeds, seeing as they are very hard to digest, but still, you're getting your tannins, lectins, phytic acid. That stuff messes up your gut big time. I thought you had to wait for Halloween. Are you happy with it? Yeah, it's not bad. We are a fantastic source of nutrification and also a good source of essential fatty acids for sex hormone production. Might just put you in a good... The fuck you're talking about, man. Would. That would be great. <laughs> Victoria, you need quinoa. It looks like a grain, technically. It's actually the fruit of a botanical plant. I never knew what quinoa was. I call quinoa my anti-stress food. Oh, I need that. And as you're stressed out, <laughs> this is for you. <laughs> this is kale. I'd never seen kale before. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. It's funny, but uh, yeah, great. Think more emotional stability. It really nutritionally influences the liver. <laughs> Kale tastes sweeter after being frozen. Huh? It's packed with nutrients that are helpful for the liver. What? Oh my god. Stop lying to her. You're gonna destroy her health. No nutrients that help with your liver? What are you talking about? In what way? What nutrients? And I want to cleanse you out from all that chocolate. I like. Oh, I know what she's talking about. Typical. Kale has actually been proven to provoke um, liver enzymes and also antibodies in general, which will, of course, fight the toxins in the kale itself. But then in the studies, they will say that it will help you to um, detox whatever words they will use, usually some fancy words which people don't understand. And then people read it and think, oh, if I eat kale, then it helps my liver. It helps my immune system. It boosts my immune system. When in reality, the kale is toxic and your body is responding to the toxicity. I like the look of it. I want to love it. In a parallel universe, Victoria loving kale. Maybe she Never gonna happen. Never has happened. It's impossible. You can write it down and email it to me. <laughs> I can read it every meal. <laughs> Jillian's plan also includes a healthy substitute for Victoria's addiction to chocolate milk. We're gonna make this amazing smoothie you're going to just love two tablespoons of the cacao powder in because i have a few again cacao well then she's getting caffeine again how are you helping her dealing with you you'll need a lot <laughs> probably if you need to sweeten up a bit jillian or gillian whatever her name is she's for sure on a lot of caffeine herself hey god she looks bad more you can use the agave syrup which is from the plant so nothing to worry about won't muck up your blood sugar levels what are you talking about it's just sugar in your body this is the kind of thing that can really help you to get over those cravings yeah can really help you to wean yourself off of that rubbishy chocolate drink man i don't want to say it but this is possibly even worse even though it was 
chocolate pasteurized milk. Well, it's definitely not good. I'm taking this very seriously. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's not bad. It certainly wasn't as sweet as I'm used to. I think this will be her savior. So now you know what to do in the morning. Now I'm going to show you what you can do in the evening. Lettuce soup. That's way better than candy and treats. The lettuce soup will help her to relax. And <laughs> yeah, lettuce soup, of course. That's the remedy for stress. It helps you to relax. Completely starving, eating leaf soup, green leaf soup. What the fuck? Will hopefully give her a better night's sleep. Tuck in the no, she's gonna be starving, but of course she's gonna be eating herself. So it's possible that in her case she's not gonna notice that much, except for some gut discomfort. But if somebody with a normal weight would eat it, they would be starving all night long. It's just dumb. Onions and the garlic. Millet is a good source of B vitamins, anti-stress, very No, it's not. And besides that, you're going to be cooking the food. So you're going to be destroying the B vitamins anyway. Whatever kind of plant versions there would be. Relaxing food. Lettuce contains an opium-like substance called lactosin, which oh. can help to induce sleep. Definitely doesn't look as good as chocolate, but I don't dislike anything that's in there. The only time you start craving... You dislike everything that's in there. Why do you lie for the camera? It's just got this sort of dirty, pale end taste. Busting some moves. And even has the energy to play. When I catch you, I get to catch you. And she's also surprising herself in the kitchen. I've been eating a lot of different kinds of foods this week. So I'm feeling pretty proud of myself for that. Some of the food has been really good. Yeah, but she doesn't recommend eating any animal foods at all. That's complete starvation. You're gonna lose weight that way but in a very unhealthy way, because it's going to be purely through starvation. Sliced chicory, don't have it. Fennel, don't have it. Alfalfa sprouts. I'm trying every single thing on this menu. The little free time I have is now being eaten up by grain of food, which I know is good for me, but I don't really like. This really doesn't look tasty at all. Yeah, exactly. It's green. Right away your senses tell you that it's not tasty, it's not good for you. And some habits it seems... Ah. Yeah, just throw it away, throw it against the wall, just protest. Teams really do die hard. That's nasty. I want some f***ing pizza. It's four weeks in and Jillian's plan is losing that new car smell. Well, I used to really look forward to eating and think it was really fun and get really excited about it. And now I kind of dread it. I'd rather not eat anything than eat this. I'd rather just be hungry. In short... Oh my god, man. Even a fake cooked carnivore diet would be a million times better here. First, the old Victoria is back. Disgusting. I really don't like avocado. True, it is disgusting, yeah. Avocado. I don't like to eat a whole carrot. I really don't like beans. I really don't like chickpeas. This is just the worst thing that you could recommend to her. You should have said, eat uh, a lot of meat, eggs, Maybe not that much fat, maybe more so leaner meat, simply because you want her to tap into her own fat, to be consuming her own fat for energy. Still though, of course, some fat is always good. Then she would be already losing weight. It seems the apple doesn't fall far from the tree. It's not that the apple doesn't fall far from the tree, it's that humans naturally don't want some toxic man-made vegetables, which taste like shit. Cucumber. How about cucumber? And when the going gets tough, hubby Brent does what he does best. How about something else? And caves in. I like pepperoni. 90% of the time I'll be... Yeah, because the kids are getting cheese, maybe some pepperoni also. It's reddish, at least. Of course, it looks more like food. The one making dinner. I know it's not the right thing to do, but it's the quick fix. Prize, I'm home, guys. Mm -mm. I didn't think you were going to be home. Oh, God. While I'm doing this thing, can we just not have pizza in the house? But we like the pizza. With Victoria furious at Brent's lack of support. <sighs> yeah, but you can't also give the kids vegetables. What the hell? That's complete starvation. The starvation wouldn't be so bad for her simply because she's going to be eating herself. She has a lot of reserves, but the kids don't. The kids can't be eating vegetables. It has no nutrients. It's starvation, malnutrition. I can't believe you brought pizza into the house, honey. It takes a... Yeah, they're both dumb. They need to get a bunch of meat. That's also not so expensive. 
It's more expensive. Eager to help Victoria get back on track, Brent has another attempt at takeout. Something healthier this time. I brought home uh, sushi with fish in it. Mmm, just the thing for a fussy eater. That, I believe... Not bad, especially if there's some raw meat, which there should be. But you're eating a lot of rice also, carbs. Um, it's not really good in her case. It's crab. Oh, Even God. better. <laughs> oh, God. I feel like I'm eating snot. <laughs> He's O for two. Should I make the salad? Victoria may be trying, but after years of overzealous snacking, her body is missing its sweet treats. I have a really bad headache. My stomach is killing me. How oh my God, man, it's those vegetables. They completely destroy your digestion. It's not only the artificial pesticides and herbicides on them, even if you would grow them without them, you would still be getting so many so-called naturally occurring toxins. It's uh, the defense mechanisms of the plants. They're just trying to survive. They don't want you to eat them. Angry and discouraged, she looks up an old friend for comfort. It's all I can think about is how badly I want some cheese. Yeah, but then you put the cheese on the bread. That's your problem. Cheese alone would be totally fine. Too much cheese is going to cause constipation, but... In general, she needs a lot of animal foods. She would be satiated and she would be losing weight. She would be more or less in ketosis, which would be good in her case. But she's just used to putting the cheese on the bread. Oh my God, I'm so happy. I feel like I cry. Victoria's not embracing my plan. She's not taking the steps she needs to for long-term health. I know this is wrong. When I first met her, she was a fussy eater and she still is. I'm gonna have to get to the bottom of this. There's a method to the madness, it's all very well thought out, and I want to make sure you benefit completely from it. So what you need are nice, easy, healthy snacks that are quick and easy to prepare that you actually like. Yeah, I've got a solution for you then. Great. It's convenience food, Jillian style. Again, only plants, from what it seems like, which don't have over 15 micronutrients. It causes malnutrition, and you get food obsessed when you eat it. Very quick, easy, tasty snacks. Chickpeas, mm. a source of good, Fats. What good fats? You're delusional. You're wrinkling your nose, even like a rabbit. It's the texture, I don't like it. Different texture. This is hummus. Mm -hmm. no. It's kind of masking the good taste of the celery. <laughs> oh, so just eat the celery then. I wish that Jillian would find a way to turn chickpeas into pizza, and then I would love them. I've given you kale because it is a dark green leafy vegetable. It's really important that you eat more of those for the fiber and for the mineral content. I've what fiber and mineral content and look you destroy it anyway by cooking it kale is very poisonous that's probably the reason why she has the gut pain actually made kale chips for you mm, that's good i'm actually quite proud of her if she's eating foods that she never dreamed of in her life ones that are key to making her feel sexy again man look she is unhealthy and she's teaching her something about health how can you take health advice from her I bet that both the husband and her are probably looking at her the whole time thinking, why are you giving me health advice? With just two weeks left, Victoria is feeling closer to victory. There's not as much fat hanging over the waistband of my pants, and I actually have rosy cheeks. And they're about to get a lot redder. I'm definitely not as fit as those people. Yeah, and this is the only way it can work. You starve yourself by eating green leaves and seeds which obviously make you lose weight, seeing as it's malnutrition. And then you exercise, stress yourself by doing whatever she's doing there. Realize how completely unfit I am. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> so, is all this effort actually paying off? I'm so stressed out about all the additional things I need to do. Meal prep, running around to multiple grocery stores. Wow, man, it would be so easy. She could have just eaten... Uh, meat and cheese, eggs, all the time, no exercise, and she would have lost weight. Instead, she tortures herself, goes through suffering, eating kale and chickpeas, everything she hates, while working out. Just so much suffering for no reason. It's hard work, but Victoria is pleased with her progress. Yeah, of course she's losing weight because she's on a starvation diet. I didn't see any animal foods at all. It's vegan, and uh, she's also exercising. If it keeps up like this, this will be totally worth it. 
One week to go, and former picky eater Victoria... Oh, God, I feel like I'm eating snot. ...is a changed woman. I haven't had any Diet Pop or any night eating of junk food. I honestly didn't think that I could give any of that stuff up. Good for you, Victoria. I want some f***ing cheese. Okay, baby steps then. And Victoria's babies, Jillian's toughest critics... The children also have dark eyes circles. Because they're eating garbage. I don't want vegetables. Are making big strides. I like these. Mommy's gonna make some edamames. Mmm, it's really good. I think I found a bean that I can live with. Me too. Yeah, beans are somewhat edible actually. With just five days to go, she's finally cleaned up her calendar. Uh, those green beans, by the way, those... And obviously you need to cook them anyway. And she's enjoying life. Ready? Set, go! Woo! It's exciting because it's yielding results. I love you. Oh, I love you too, buddy. Eight weeks ago, Victoria was a super stressed sweetaholic. I use food, my other people use drugs. Who felt very unsexy. And that. Has this fussy eater become foxy? By following Jillian's plan, Victoria is now a dress... I like how they always use makeup for the after pictures. Size smaller. She shed two inches from her hips and chest. She's firmed up the flab and lost 20... I like how they don't even show her without the clothes because they know that there is not really a significant difference. Four pounds. <laughs> the before video, no clothes. Now clothes to hide it. Oh my god. Is that you? <laughs> well, yeah, it's hard to recognize her because of the makeup. Wow, you look absolutely incredible. Victoria's skin looks great. <laughs> well, because of the makeup. Really dark circles under your eyes. She's got some spark about her. She looks alive. I feel good. And you look like you're almost dead. I feel proud of myself, actually. Oh, my. What a transformation. <laughs> you look wonderful. Wow, it's great to see her in color. Can't believe it. she's come this far. It's incredible. I love the difference. Don't tell my wife we're meeting like this. <laughs> For you. Oh, thank you, honey. Thank you. I'm very proud of you. The husband seems kind of sweet. Of course, it's all on camera for the show, but still. This is totally different for me. I love that I've been more active. I love it, and it wasn't that hard. The mojo is definitely back, baby. You've <laughs> <laughs> been dying to say that for years, honey. When I first met Victoria, she was down in the dumps with a distressing diet and a lukewarm love life. By changing her eating habits and her attitude, she's been transformed into a vivacious victim with plenty of va va voom. Victoria has eaten herself sexy. It's really horrible that people like Julian are seen as nutrition experts. It's simply because they learned this in school. They don't think for themselves. They simply listen and repeat, which doesn't require intelligence. And then they come up with such diets. For weight loss, you need to eat green leaves, which taste horrible, it's toxic for your body, and some seeds, which you also hate the taste of, which are also toxic for your body. All of that garbage is full of artificial pesticides, herbicides, which are like antibiotics and destroy your gut microbiome. But then you also have the anti-nutrients, which also inhibit digestion. You can't digest the protein as well anymore, not that she was really eating anything with the proper protein. And uh, you also can't absorb the minerals as well. There's enzyme inhibitors. These plants are trying to protect themselves from being eaten. It's the last thing that you should be eating. That's survival food. Of course it worked in her case because she had a lot of excess weight, which she could use for energy, but somebody who's at a normal weight would uh, become very grumpy. They would have a lot of trouble sleeping, which she also had. They would um, deplete themselves from uh, the stored macro and micronutrients. I don't think that she had many stored micronutrients and she also wasn't getting any, which is probably why she craved the animal foods. But um, she did have the macronutrients, which she used up and that's why she lost the weight in the two months. Especially also because she stressed herself a lot with the so-called workouts, whatever she was doing there. 
And that all works. In short term, you can lose some excess fat that way, but long term to be healthy, that's never going to work because to be actually healthy and to get back to a natural weight, you need to live naturally, which means to eat naturally and to do so-called natural activities, to actually have a so-called natural lifestyle. If you eat naturally and you live naturally, your body goes back to its natural form. You will have the natural amount of muscle you're supposed to have, fat, you will have uh, the hormones that you're supposed to have to be fertile, you will feel happy and so on. Everything will be the way it's supposed to be. But when you go on this starvation diet and you exercise, then you simply use up your fat storages for energy. That's never going to last. She could never possibly sustain this and she most definitely didn't. I can bet on it. Thanks for watching.